Hey, UREC family, it's Dee here. I know we're all stuck at home doing probably a lot of what I'm doing right now, sitting. So I encourage you to follow along with today's workout and get up out of your chair, and we'll even use it for some of the workout. So today for you, I have an upper body strength workout planned. And I found when working out from home that upper body strength has been the most challenging for me to do because with cardio, oftentimes you don't need too much equipment and we can think of a lot more lower body strength workouts to do that don't take load. But for me, what I first think of when I'm gonna work my upper body is picking up a pair of dumbbells. So it can be challenging to program without those. So I encourage you to follow along with me today. We're gonna kick this chair to the side for the time being and I'm gonna have you warm up with me before we get into the bulk of today's workout. Very important that we always warm up before getting into our exercises. Okay, so I want you to pick just a few moves to do to warm up about 30 seconds a piece and maybe do it two to three times. If you don't wanna pick those on your own, I'll demonstrate a few for you today. So just opening up the chest, we got to call this Michael Phelps, stretching the upper body, you feel this in the shoulders, feeling your shoulder blades pinch behind you and really opening up the chest. I'll turn to the side so you can see this. Notice my hips are hinged and there's soft bends in my knees. So again, like I said, 30 seconds about for this. Um, then we'll take an arm circle. So we'll start small, just right here. We'll make it bigger. I'm going in the forward direction to start and I'm making it into full circles as time goes on. Then when I'm ready, I'll reverse that. Starting the opposite direction, big circles, and I'll get smaller until I'm focused back in that small circle. I can do an inchworm, so activating my core, warming up because core is involved in everything we do. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. I'm gonna walk down my body, walk myself out to the plank. If I'm feeling it today, I can get a push up right here, or I can just hold the plank for three breaths. I walk it back, feel this nice forward fold, come up to reach, and begin again, okay? And then finally, I'll give you um, a lunge with a reach. So I'm gonna have you step back and reach it up. Just opening the chest, like I said, getting that hip flexor again, even though we're not necessarily working the lower body. We're sitting a lot, so we really wanna stretch that out. You can also take some reaches to the side. So again, just a few moves. I want you to do this two to three times, about 30 seconds for each move before we get started. Okay, upper body strength. I have four simple moves for you today that I'll preview for you, and then I'll kind of tell you how I want you to do them. So, pike push-up. We're starting in a plank position. Now, before we do this, I got a plank, downward dog, excuse me. I want you to make a triangle with your hands. This is the position that you'll be in on the ground. So we're taking that downward dog position with these hands. You can spread them out a little bit if that's easier for you in the downward dog. This time, we're going down into a push-up and back up. So you're going to feel this a lot more on your shoulders than you would a traditional push-up. And this time, you are leading with your head, okay? If this is confusing for you, you can always drop and take a regular push-up or go to the knees, whatever feels best. So those are your options for your push-up. Chair dips. So like I said, we're going to use our chair instead of just sitting on it. So take your chair, we're gonna work those triceps. You're gonna place your hands on the edge of the chair. You can really do this on any elevated surface. You'll step out to the side, push those hips up and activate the glutes. And you'll come down, elbows pushing back, chest forward, tricep dips, okay? So I'll turn to the side a little differently so you can see. Elbows are pointing back, fingers and toes are pointed in the same direction and I'm keeping my hips elevated. All right, then you'll push that chair out of your way again. We're gonna do four plank walks into one push-up. So I'm here in a plank. I'm gonna walk to the side. One, two, three, four. Hopefully you don't run into your chair like me. And I'm gonna take one push-up, then I'll go back the other way. For one, two, three, four. And now if I'd like, I can also take this push-up on my knees. So holding that nice firm plank position, make sure at a neutral pelvis, gaze at your fingertips, really pushing away in a nice plank form for those. And then the push up of your level of choice. Lastly, just four moves today, we're gonna do shoulder taps in that plank position. And I want you to take it one at a time. For this, the biggest thing is we don't wanna rock our hips. 
you want to keep them nice and firm. So if you have trouble with that, try taking a little bit wider of a stance to brace the core. Gaze is down at my fingertips and I'm trying not to rock my hips. All right, just four moves today. How I want you to do it is set a 20 minute timer on your phone. So for 20 minutes, you're gonna go through these moves. You're gonna start with just two reps per exercise. So two of the pipe push up, two chair hips, two, so one direction, four plank walks push up, then back the other direction. And then two reps, shoulder taps. From there, I want you to go up by two every time. So starting with two reps, all four. Then four reps of all four. Then six reps of all four. And so on and so forth until your 20 minute timer is up. Okay, so 20 minute, quick and effective upper body workout. We got some core in there. We got some shoulders, triceps, the whole shebang. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope you made use out of your chair and got up from sitting. Um, stay tuned for more workouts that we have posted. Follow all of our social media channels. And I hope to see you next time. And I hope to see you in the rack very soon.